So I'm getting ready to go out and cut some logs, and I thought that it, this would be a good time to uh, give you my thoughts on my Ego 16-inch chainsaw. Uh, I've had it about three years. I did do a review on it a couple years back, and uh, yeah, I thought I'd give you another review uh, two years later to tell you what my uh, thoughts are. Now, I do have a an uh, Echo CS400 gas-powered chainsaw. Very nice chainsaw. I've had nothing but good luck with this. Whenever I started buying my Ego lawn equipment, I come across this chainsaw. Um, it was actually on Craigslist, so I did buy it used. And I have not used my Echo gas powered since I've got this. And the reason is this is just an electric chainsaw for especially around the house. I live in a neighborhood. Um, I do have some trees. Sometimes I've got to prune them. Uh, the other day we had a big uh, branch fall off of our Bradford pear, just to give you an idea of how big. <clears throat> um, so I had to go out there and cut this up to uh, be able to manage it uh, easier. And uh, this little beauty did a did a great job on it. Didn't bog down. Cut right through it. Even with the the uh, blade. Um, three years old this is the original blade and yeah it cut right through it like butter it's a lot quieter than a gas powered a lot more convenient you just slide a battery in and you pull the trigger and off you go um, another nice feature of this saw before we go out there and start cutting it is to actually adjust the uh, tension on the chain no no tools required you just loosen this big green uh, twist nut off and then you spin this in or out and that moves the the uh, bar in or out to tighten the chain up and then you just tighten this back up and you're you're done so it's a very uh, very easy no tools required uh, tension adjustment so we're about to go out there and uh, we're going to cut these logs up a little bit more and I'll show you how this thing does. Okay, so this log here, just to give you an idea, is about 14 inches in diameter. Maybe just a little bit more if you go to the thickest part. So that's almost the capacity of this blade. This is a 16 inch blade. And uh, what my plan is, is to, uh, I want to cut like maybe two inch uh, pieces out of this. So I'm going to get, I'm going to get a couple smaller logs to prop this up on. And then we're going to get started. All right, here we go. Let me, I've got to put the camera somewhere else. I'm almost through, but the camera's starting to get in the way. All right, let's finish it off. Same thing. Yeah. 
That's the capacity of the blade right there. cutting through knots and everything. It's a round piece here. Nice little pile of sawdust. So, would I recommend one of these? Absolutely. If you've just got, you know, simple stuff like this to chop up, and you don't want to hassle with mixing gas, priming, uh, leaving it out to sit, you know, that chainsaw in there, like I say, it's, it is literally set for three years, and there's a good chance that if I put gas in it, would it start? I don't know. Um, you know, whenever you let a uh, carbureted uh, piece of lawn equipment sit that long, the risk you take is the carburetor getting all gummed up, and good chance you're going to have to pull the carburetor off, at least clean it out, put it back together to get it going again. And a lot of people don't have that, uh, you know, Cap they're not capable of doing that so an electric that's the way to go um, all I got to do to this now is throw the battery on the charger and it'll be ready next time I need it the same batteries go for all my other lawn equipment that I've got now I've, I've literally replaced all my lawn equipment with ego so you know I've got plans I'm going to run these through my planer make them all the same thickness and uh, I've got plans for for this stuff here but all in all it does a good job especially with a dull blade I'm saying it's dull it hadn't been sharpened in three years and I've got done you know a fair amount of cutting with it so um, I love this little saw it's not uh, if I haven't mentioned it yet it's very quiet you don't have to worry about hearing protection whenever you're using it um, so that's just another reason to consider an electric chainsaw an ego in my opinion is probably um, you know one of the more popular brands and uh, you know in my opinion probably the way to go but just to kind of show you you know it in action after three years still does a good job the one thing that you might keep in mind is they do recommend that when you buy the chainsaw I believe 
I believe you can buy just the chainsaw by itself, but I believe if you buy it with the battery, it comes with a 5 amp battery. I've read that uh, whatever kind of tech is built into this, it actually senses whether it's got the 5 amp or a smaller battery. The 5 amp battery, you get full performance out of the saw. If you put a two and a half or a two amp in, um, you don't get quite the quite the power. They say I've I've ran both. I haven't been able to tell a difference, but there may be. Um, so keep that in mind if you do buy one. Anyway, that's about all I had. Um, I'll put a link if you guys are interested in one of these. I think one of the cheapest places to get them is on Amazon. So. Uh, I'll put a link to where I got this one at. You guys take care.